what's going on you guys we got a different style of video for you welcome back to the channel i know it's been a while since i've made a video but i got a new phone got some updates that i want to let you guys in on so we're going to do a little nine hole out here with trash panda discs only we have the ozone the dune and the inner core and the ice color so we're just gonna play a little nine hole out here i'm gonna let you guys in on some life updates that have been going on why i haven't been uploading as much and um some news for you guys but yeah let's get right into it we're gonna throw the ozone off this first tee here it's about 280 feet to the basket just gotta stay under that tree there turn oh okay a little bit of a missed release there almost got the turn in but uh you guys, you guys know how it goes. We're going to do two off one. We're just going to throw the dune out there, try to keep it straight. Probably not going to make the distance with this ceiling, but. All right. We'll have an upshot from there. All right. So a few updates for you guys. First of all, we did get a new phone. I hope the quality is really good. We got the S24 Ultra. I went from an iPhone 13. That's what I was recording all my videos on before to this S24 Ultra. So hopefully the quality has definitely improved. I can tell by looking at the screen, it looks great. Hopefully when I zoom in on the disc in post-processing, it still looks good. So that's the first thing. We got a new phone, new camera. Hopefully the videos are gonna turn out real crispy. So one of the main reasons I haven't been uploading any videos lately, we've been doing some renovations on our house. We've completely redone our kitchen, countertops, cabinets, everything like that. We've added a laundry cabinet in the kitchen because we've moved our washer and dryer in there, got a new fridge, all those things. So we've been just real busy working on the house. I think I hit the pole there. I still got it, boys. I still got it. So to be honest with you guys, I can't remember the last time I came out and just played a, a round of disc golf. It's been, it's been a while. Um, Probably the last real round I played was my tournament at Blackwater. It's been a while now, so it's just been a while since I've actually came out here, not only to make a video, but to actually just play around. I mean, I'm, I'm having a good time out here so far. All right, hole two, we're about 204 feet from the basket. It's just down there to the right in between those trees. We're gonna throw the inner core on a slight, slight ante, hopefully or just straight at it. That was slight hyzer and not straight at it. It's gonna be a tough putt. So I don't really dive into my personal life a lot on this channel, but I do have a good bit of subscribers. I figure some of you guys might want to know some more personal information about me. So this video is for, gonna be for those people. Um, first of all, I wanna thank everybody for being a part of this channel, it really means a lot to me. We are so close to getting monetized on this channel. And that is gonna be really just a dream come true. That's all I've ever wanted. That's uh, that's really been a, a big goal of mine was to get this channel monetized. Um, we, we grew a lot in the first year and I'm really excited to see where we can go with monetization. Um, it's gonna help tremendously on this channel. So I wanna thank every one of you guys. Let's see if we can't miss this putt. Oh, just too far. Almost missed that. So as some of y'all may already know, if you follow me on Facebook or if you are friends with me on Facebook, I do have a wife and she is pregnant. Um, we're very excited. We're gonna be having a boy and he's gonna take my middle name, James. We're gonna call him Asher James. You guys already know he's gonna be a disc golf prodigy. Come on, we're gonna be starting him out we, you guys are going to see him on the channel, okay? We're going to be having him out here early, all right? We're going to be, even if he's just in a stroller watching, he's going to be out here on the disc golf course from a very, very early age. Okay, we are going to introduce him to the sport and as well as all my other hobbies that I like to do, fishing, glass blowing, anything. I mean, anything he wants to do, he's going to be able to do that and he's going to have a lot of hobbies. <laughs> Basically, if he's anything like me, He's probably gonna have a lot of hobbies. So yeah, me and my wife are just beyond excited to be having a child in our life. So yeah, we're gonna be having a little mini me, a little a little Eric G running around the disc golf course. All right. And he's gonna be slaying the MJ 
10 or whatever the I don't know I don't know the junior rankings but we're gonna learn okay we're gonna be learning them so yeah we are we're just both super excited uh you know my wife loves to play disc golf as well she comes out here plays with me she hasn't been playing since she's been pregnant but she does love to come out here and play with me um and that used to be one of our favorite things to do we haven't been doing it as much lately because i've been working more and like i said she's been pregnant but once we have a child out here we are definitely going to be having a great time so yeah, we're just we're just beyond excited. We're gonna throw the dune on hole three. It's about 209 feet. Just gotta stay under that branch. You guys know. Or go over it. Go in. Oh, it's actually a little short. Should be a birdie there though. I'm already noticing that this phone does is doing way better in the in the summer heat. Now it's not quite 98 degrees like it has been over the summer, and my phone's been overheating. Um, but it is still pretty hot out here. Uh, it's still Florida. Now we are in, Oct in late October, and it's and it's 85. Okay, so that that's that just goes to show you how hot it is here still. Um, but this phone is this phone's handling it like a dream. I come out here with 37% battery on my phone. My old phone would already be dead after hole two, hole two shooting. Like it would literally be dead. <laughs> My phone, my old phone used to die so fast, especially if I was doing any kind of recording or anything strenuous on the device, it would just die. I didn't even charge my phone last night because I know it's not going to die today. So if you guys saw my last video where I tried to forehand the dune and it turned into a roller, almost hit these old guys and they came after me, basically, you guys should go check that out. I'm going to leave it up on the card. Check that video out. It's pretty funny. You guys should go check it out. Anyway, next hole here. We got hole four, 196 feet. It's right behind that dead tree down there. I, a little course history here. Somebody told me one time there used to be a big tree there, kind of like hole five. You'll see next hole, it, the basket's right behind a big tree. Apparently, lightning struck that tree and knocked it down, and the basket is kind of all wonky now. So that's what happened there. Since we have an open ceiling here, we're going to throw the inner core. It's only 196 feet, so let's get it. Let's throw it on a little, little hyzer there and let it, let it fade back in. Or a lot of hyzer. Sheesh. That's not going anywhere. Jesus. Can't even throw 196 feet with the inner core. Goodness. Guys, let me know down in the comments below if you have kids and you guys play disc golf with them. How did that, you know, when you when you first had a kid, how does that affect, you know, obviously you're probably not going to be able to come play as much as you want to. But after a certain point, you can just bring the kid, right? So you can still play disc golf. You can still do what you want to do with a kid. You just have to bring the kid now. So it's just ruined. No, I'm just kidding. It's a little joke that me and my wife are making. I can't wait to take you guys on my parenting adventure, teach my kid how to play disc golf. Of course, I got to learn how to throw past 200 feet myself. Yeah, you guys see how bent up this basket is though? Big old tree knocked it down. Sick. Guys, we're out here just having a good time. I'm not keeping score. I'm out here just, just having a good time. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've just come and played disc golf. I forgot how fun it is, man. I really forgot how much I used to enjoy this. All right, so as you guys can see, this next hole is right behind that tree down there. Um, okay, yeah, I was hoping I was hoping that if I pointed at that lady with some discs, that she would get moving because I didn't want to hit her baby in the stroller. But you guys can see it's pretty low ceiling on the right side. The left side is open for a forehand. I don't really have a forehand disc here. We could try to forehand the, the dune again, get some uh, get some redemption. But I think I kind of want to try something a little crazy. I think I'm going to go with a skip shot with the ozone. We're out here having fun. Let's just go for something. We're going to throw it on a lot of hyzer, really low. See what it does. Oh, it flipped up. Okay, well, it kind of skipped. <laughs> it kind of skipped, but it because it flipped up, it skipped forward. And, uh, man, oh, man, <laughs> we're probably way past the basket there on accident. Let's try to forehand the dune. Let's just do it. We're going to put it on a lot of hyzer. Let's see what we can do. I, th I know we can do this. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. That would have been really good if I was on the left side of the tree. That would have been the perfect shot. See, I can forehand the dune, okay? I just, I just made a mistake, okay? Don't yell at me. 
I have actually had some people comment on my videos and they're like, why didn't you redo that shot? That shot was horrible. And sometimes you gotta understand, okay? I, I do work full time. I actually, I work two jobs at the moment, trying to, trying to make some extra money for our child that's coming. As much as I would love to spend more time on these videos, sometimes I just can't, okay? Like right now, today, I'm actually taking time out of work to, to come and make this video for you guys. So um, make sure you guys drop a like for that. I really appreciate it. But yeah, sometimes I just don't have the time to redo shots as much as I want to. And, I, and as much as I know it was a crappy throw and I would love to redo it, I just don't have time to go pick up the disc, say the whole spiel again, and then throw it. Like sometimes I just don't have time to do that. So thank you guys for understanding and and still supporting me even though I don't throw the best sometimes you know that's what this that's what the purpose of this channel is about I'm trying to show how these discs are going to fly for us normies okay us us regular people that don't throw 500 feet right of course the disc is going to fly differently if a pro is throwing it or somebody else right I'm, I'm trying to show you guys how the disc is flying how the disc might fly for you okay so that's all this channel is about um so everybody makes mistakes and I appreciate you guys following along and uh, giving, me, giving me huge support. I really appreciate it. We're gonna just putt from the dune here, um, grab the ozone on the way to the next hole. We got a really low ceiling putt here. So we're gonna see if we can't get under these branches here. I should probably kneel down, but we're just having fun. I'm not trying to do all that, so. Oh man. If I had kneeled down, I know I could have got under that branch. That's okay though. This ain't no tournament, you know? I'm just out here having a good time with some of my favorite discs. Um, the Dune is my favorite mid-range at the moment. The Ozone's pretty cool. The inner core is a laser beam. So yeah, we're just out here having a good time. We got hole six here. It's behind those big trees out there. Um, it's about 300 feet, 320, something about that. It's a little bit slightly uphill. We're gonna throw the Ozone on some hyzer, try to get it to flip, turn, and do its thing. We're gonna wait for this family though, because I don't wanna be throwing at people again, because honestly, I'm kind of out of practice. You just never know what's gonna happen. I have not thrown this hole in so long. Holy cow. I'd burn that over, grip lock the heck out of that. Whew. What are you gonna do, you know? See, and if I wasn't out here just chilling with you guys, that would probably be a shot that I would redo, uh, just because you didn't really get to see it fly very well. But you know what, for the sake of time today, and, and like I said, we're just out here having a good time. It's getting pretty hot. I'm not really trying to go pick that disc up, walk all the way back and redo it. So we're just gonna leave it as it is. So yeah, thanks thanks for the people who understand that kind of stuff. So anyway, I plan on getting back to the normal routine of you know, maybe one or two videos every week. That's about what I can do now ever since or since I've been doing renovations on our house and working my other pizza delivery job as well. You know, who knows? Maybe one day when this channel gets monetized and uh, and everything and I'm making a little bit of money off of YouTube, who knows? Maybe this is what I can, I'll probably be able to come out here and make even more videos for you guys more often. So I um, hope you guys will enjoy that. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, we've got a little bit of an upshot here. So let's get to it. So this looks to me like another little dune forehand chip because honestly, I suck at backhand approaches. Obviously I'm not very good at forehand either, but you know, it is what it is. I'm a little bit better at small forehand chip shots than I am light power backhand shots, especially with this angle right here, kind of have to go around this tree. So I would have to kind of throw it on a little bit of Anheuser, but you guys know it's not my best throw. So we're just going to forehand chip the dune up there for a little par. Boom. I mean, that's dialed right there. That's that's perfect. That's perfect shot. All right, next hole here, um, 230 feet. It's just in between those trees there. They planted that tree in front of the tee box here probably about a year ago. And I just know that one day that's going to be like a tree. You know what I mean? And it is like right in front of the tee box right where you want to throw. So not sure, not sure how well that's going to work, but we're probably going to throw the dune as our real shot. I do want to kind of hyzer flip the ozone and see if we can push it straight 
like maybe get an ace or something. I don't know, do something crazy. Um, Cause this is about the last hole that we're gonna be able to throw the ozone on. So we'll start out with the dune. We'll count this as our real shot. And then, um, and then we'll throw the ozone. High's a flip. Kind of hyzered that a little bit. So it, it faded out a little bit earlier than I wanted to, but that's still not a bad shot at all. I'm gonna wait for this other family to go before I, uh, before I send a eight speed at them. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of hyzer. Jeez Louise. We're just out here having fun. Hopefully this video is looking really crisp and clear for you guys. Um, we'll, we'll know when I'm editing the video how it's looking. Hopefully it looks good when you zoom in on the disc and everything. And I will say this phone, I mean, I'm right in the sun right now. I, I'm directly in the sunlight. And um, I, I, this phone has shown no signs of overheating or anything. It hasn't given me any warnings or anything like that. My old phone would be probably dead and uh, it wouldn't let me record a single thing because it would be overheated. Nice. Got us another birdie there. Oh man, that's why you don't forehand the dune, kids. That's why you should never forehand that disc. <laughs> just kidding, I'm just bad. Okay, so this next hole is only 190 feet. It's right there on that little tree over there. We almost lost the dune on the last hole, so we're gonna throw that on this one. I know it's only 190 feet, but I just prefer throwing the dune. Um, I don't know, it's just how I am. If I threw that out, to the right a little bit would have been a perfect shot probably would have aced psych if you guys have made it this far through the video go ahead and drop a like and a comment and let me know down below what disc you would like to see me review next i really appreciate all of you that watch the videos all the way through uh, it means the world to me it's really helping me um, get closer to my end goal we're only about 100 watch hours away from being monetized by YouTube. And uh, you know, even if we make like a dollar per video or something, I don't I don't care. Like that's that's gonna help me so much. Yeah, it's just gonna help me grow. And I, I just I just wanna thank you guys so much again. I know I keep saying thank you, but I really mean it. Um, I appreciate every one of you guys. Like I honestly never thought I would make it this far in YouTube. I just kinda started this channel as like a whatever type thing, you know, and and now here we are. We're about, we're about to be getting paid by YouTube. It's it's kind of crazy. So, oh, look at this. Now, if we could just putt, that'd be great. Guys, this course is really special to me. Not only is it right next to my house, this is the first course that I ever hit an ace on. This is the first course that was featured in my channel. We played this course. I played this course with the Trash Panda Dune and got an ace at the end of that video. I mean, that that's, that's so of course we're gonna throw the dune on this hole. I know it's only 140 feet, but it's right there. A little turnover shot. The very first video on my channel, we hit an ace with the dune on this hole. So this is just super special to me, um, reminiscing about that. And again, I just, I can't believe that I've come this far. So if you guys are an OG subscriber and you guys have seen that first video, Make sure you drop a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know that you guys seen that video because that's that's just crazy to me <laughs> anyway let's get to it i can't remember i think it might have been i think we might have done a standstill on that throw um maybe i don't know that doesn't seem like me though i really don't do a lot of standstills so we're gonna do a little walk up here just a nice slow walk up and aim up there to the left see if we can't do this thing Nope. Look, I did not throw that to the left, but that would have been a nice shot had I thrown that to the left. Let's try it with the inner core. Maybe uh, maybe we're just too good now for that, you know? <laughs> when I first started this channel, guys, I was not a good disc golf player. I was actually, I couldn't even throw 300 feet. Um, no matter what, I I tried and tried and tried. Could not throw 300 feet. Um, but I will, if you guys are struggling with 300 feet, Rodney and I are gonna be doing a video soon on some tips to reach 300 feet for beginners. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe to check that video out coming soon. And that was no Anheuser. I don't know why, but I can't throw the inner core on Anheuser. It, it just, it comes out Heiser every time. 
I, I don't throw the inner core nearly as good as I throw the dune. I don't know if it's just the shape of the disc or what. Yeah, I just I just seem to do a lot better with the uh, with the dune. So, yeah, no hate on the inner core. Obviously, love the inner core. I, I think the ice one has a little bit more dome to it than um, than the blue inner cores. Maybe I should be going going back to the blue one. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up there. I hope you guys enjoyed this little this little video. I know it's a little different and it's not a review. I know I, I kind of rambled on a little bit about some things, but I do kind of like this vlog style video. I, I, I like talking to you guys. I like letting you guys in on a little bit more of my personal life. So yeah, if it's something that you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave me a comment and let me know. Yeah, other than that, love you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.